Hey everybody, Steve with Flowchecker here. We're gonna do a quick video to improve upon the volume indicators that come with the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim um, charts. We'll add some easy to read labels for total volume for the day, current bar volume, pre-market volume, and we'll even create a dual colored volume bar that's gonna give you a graphical depiction of the buying and selling volume in each bar. But first, if you want to quickly check the stock float, your stock, you just come on over to our site, float checker, type in a ticker, and quickly compare the float across several different financial websites. It's fast and easy to do, and there's no registration or anything like that required. So stop on by. So this is what a initial chart might look like when you first log into TD Ameritrade. You'll have candles in your volume bars beneath in this one chart. Uh, we can improve upon that a little bit with the default options. We can go to chart settings, go to um, appearance, and at least make the volume bars match up with our candles. Now I find this a little bit hard to read. As you can see as you scroll around, the volume bars are bleeding into the candles. Um, we can do one better. We can create our own volume subgraph with bars and a bit of additional information. I'm going to go back up to chart settings and go to equities and I'm going to remove this volume subgraph here. Hit apply. Okay. So now in order to create our own indicators we're going to use something called ThinkScript which is the Thinkorswim uh, programming language that comes with the platform. Now you don't need to know any programming language. All you need to do is copy and paste. Um, and you'll see how this works. I Essentially, I just researched a bunch of different scripts on the web. There are many free websites out there. And as you become more comfortable, you can do this yourself and add any indicators that you would like. So to get started here, we're going to go ahead and click on the Edit Study Speaker. And we're going to go to Create. Now, I'm going to delete this default text that comes and we can go ahead and we can actually name our study we'll call it my volume now I'm gonna bring up my notepad which this is just a text file again these are just scripts that I researched off the web I'm gonna select all of this I'm gonna copy it and then I'm going to go into my window right click and paste now I'll have a link to our blog and where you can just copy and paste the script if you choose. Now you can see there's a number of hash marks here. Where, where, wherever you see hash marks, those are just comments. Um, the script will, will not execute those. This is just to sort of help you read this a little better. You can see we've got volume for the day, current bar volume, last bar volume, and the script for these uh, for pre-market volume, uh, these dual colored volume bars that you'll see and then an average volume line. So you'll see that once we press apply, hit apply, okay, and there we have it. So we've got total volume, current volume bar, last volume, last bar volume, pre-market volume. Um, we can make changes if you don't like some of these colors, we can go back up to edit studies, right click on my volume, edit the source, and then you can go to the section that you wanna change, and we can change this from white to red. Press apply. Okay, you can see that on the left. If you want to change the order in which these appear, if you want the total volume to appear at the end of this list, again, right click on my volume, edit sources. We'll cut and paste this section. We'll put that after pre-market volume, we'll create some space and right click, paste, hit apply, okay. And now you can see total volume here is at the end of the list. Um, again, I will say uh, these are just scripts that I found off the web and put together. Um, I will tell you in, in using this pre-market information, I've noticed that the number that TD Ameritrade tends to be a little bit lower. I've seen on other sites, for example, BPTH was in play today. When I go to the NASDAQ site, it lists the volume, pre market volume, as 16,997,000 volume, whereas 
Thinker Swim is listing it at 15,341,000. Based on what I've read on the web, some people say, well, TD Ameritrade is not accounting for so-called odd lots, which are sort of transactions under 100 shares are not being accounted for, which is maybe why the number's lower. I'm not sure that's the case. Um, but again, you have to do your own research, decide which indicators you're comfortable with. You can always delete it from the script. Um, these dual colored volume bars that you see, uh, there are a number of different scripts floating around that uh, purport to show this. Now, some people claim they're not accurate. And again, you, I would say do your own research, figure out which indicators that you're comfortable with, and you can just copy and paste them as you see fit. But I hope this helps uh, you be able to, for you to be able to uh, track volume a little better during the day. Okay, talk to you soon. Take care.